done it. I've done it. Uh oh, Robbie. What have you done? I got a Valentine's Day present for my sister Tori. Wow, Robbie, that's really sweet. <coughs> Not really, Johnny. What do you mean? I mean, it isn't sweet. It's a bit on the sour side. <sighs> Robbie, did you get what did you get Tori for Valentine's Day? Chocolates. <laughs> but Robbie, chocolates are sweet. It's the feeling that isn't so sweet. Oh, I see. What did you fill it with? Lemon, lime, lemon and lime? Dill pickles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bobby, why does Tori like chocolate covered pickles? I don't think she does. Then you can hardly call it a present. I wrapped it and put a little red bow on it. Robbie, you give a present or a card on Valentine's Day to show someone you love them. Giving them, giving something nobody wants just shows how mean you are. I thought it was the thought that counts. It is, Robbie. And the thought of chocolate covered dill pickles is disgusting. <laughs> Valentine's Day is to show how good you know your friends and family. You better be careful around playing mean tricks on God's day. Wait a minute. How oh, did Valentine's Day get to be God's day? You have no idea what we celebrate on Valentine's Day. Right? Chocolate? No, Robbie. We celebrate love. Remember the Bible says that God is love. Oh, yeah. So if God is love, and we celebrate love on Valentine's Day, we're really celebrating God. And doesn't God like to celebrate with chocolate-covered pickles? Yeah. No. Robbie, the Bible tells us to love God, other people, and ourselves. Well, I love myself. I know that, Robbie. But you don't love other people. What? know how I feel about other people. I can tell by what you do. Oh. Where your what, Where did your nephew Anthony sleep last night? On the floor next to my bed. And why did he sleep on the floor? <laughs> because someone poured mashed bananas pudding in his bed. <laughs> and your Aunt Peggy, how did she get to work last week? I don't know, Uber? All I know is that she didn't drive. And why not? Her tires are flat, pop. <laughs> Robbie, when you love people, you don't play mean tricks on them. But the Bible, the Bible only talks about loving your neighbor. I never play tricks on the neighbors. Only because you know they call the police on you. But in God's eyes, Robbie, neighbors aren't just the people who live next door. Neighbors in the Bible means everybody. Uh-oh. That's right, Robbie. I think you owe some people apologies. Oh. But what about Valentine's Day? That would be a great time to make up for all the bad things you've done. How? By going and doing good things for people. That's how you show people you love them. You mean, do something nice for Tori? Yes. Bring her flowers or some real chocolate. Johnny. Yes? If I brought Tori some real good chocolates, do you think she'd let me have one? I think she would. Most of the time when you do something nice for someone, it means they want to do something nice for you. Can I give chocolates to God too? I don't think he wants chocolate, Robbie. But he does want to see you love in other people. On Valentine's Day? On every day, Robbie. Now, I think we better get started. Oh yeah, you're sure about the chocolates? I am positive. 
Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. 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 Bye.